Hello everybody, today I would like to do a video demo using Grasshopper about creating custom 2D patterns using grid points. Okay, let's start. Let's fire out Grasshopper. Okay, in order for you to be able to follow and apply the, the steps of this demo, you need to have the paneling tools installed. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about how to install this because I already covered this in the previous uh, videos. Okay, so uh, now what I want to do is to associate uh, this surface um, to a uh, B-Rep node okay, on the grasshopper. Okay, so right click, set one B-Rep. Okay, yep. Let me just hide this. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's go to paneling tools and go to the grid. Okay, we want to create um, grids using the surface uh, domain number method. Okay, so put this here. So I'm going to plug this here. And by default, it gives you uh, 10 and 10 on the U and Bs. Okay, so maybe... Um, I can change this figure. Let's change this figure. Okay, so 12 here. Okay, let's set to 12, 12 for the moment. Okay, yep. Okay, the next uh, thing we need to add is the panel 2D sections are uh, panel connection. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add at this okay so what I'm gonna do is actually to create a kind of a custom pattern okay a kind of custom pattern using the the grid points that we have created okay the pattern that I want to create is actually uh, this pattern here okay so uh, as you can see on this diagram I've already input the absolute coordinates of the the points okay that form these are uh, patterns okay you can imagine this as the y-axis and uh, this is the x-axis and this is the zero comma zero uh, uh, coordinate position okay so uh, taking this as a uh, zero comma zero these are the coordinates that will be used to derive uh, this pattern okay so uh, let's go back to grasshopper rhino again so we need to set the pattern at the pattern input socket so what I can do is a uh, right mouse click over it go to uh, manage uh, text collection okay here is where we input the coordinates okay this this coordinates okay in a sequential manner so I will want to start from this 0 comma 2 and go to uh, 0, 4, 2, 6, 4, 6, and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, let's do it now. Okay, so I double click on this to make the necessary changes. So the first one is uh, 0, 2. Okay, so just give me a while to key in all the coordinates. Okay, so the second one is uh, 0, 4. As you can see here, 0, 2, 4 by 0, 1. 4 followed by 2 comma 6 okay so okay one thing you have to remember is that uh you have to press the and enter to input the changes otherwise when you uh switch out of uh, the grasshopper environment you will revert back to the original values okay so uh please remember to like you no know, press enter okay to like reflect the changes Give me a while. Okay, I need to add more of the brackets. Okay, uh, six comma four. Okay, hopefully I'm getting it right. Uh, six comma two. Four comma zero. 2, 0, 0, 2. Okay, remember to press enter. 
to set them in then click OK. Okay, so um, okay, now let's um, plug this grid inside here. Okay, yeah, you can see that the patterns have already been formed. Okay, but um, there are still some parameters that you want to set. It's uh, basically the shift J and the shift I. Okay, so basically what this means is that uh, it will shift the... It will shift your pattern in the U and V direction okay so that you can actually um, place it in a way that is uh, desired okay let's say we just know what we have created over here is this but what I want is actually for the adjacent pieces to be formed here so we have to shift this value as well as uh, this value to place it correctly okay so uh, let's put a number slider okay let's say uh, two, nine, two, nine, okay so I plug this okay since they are like uh, made out of a square so I can like uh, set both the values to be the same okay so you can see yeah so you can play with this to get to your desired uh, effect okay so you see you can see that at uh, six shifts of the i and j right we are able to get the form to coincide with the adjacent ones okay you might want to also um, play with the u and v number to create a complete patterns okay let's okay in this case here because um the shifts are in a uh, multiples of six, right? We might want to set this to uh, to six. Okay, let's see whether it works. Or not. Okay, so yeah, you can see over here, they are in multiples of six. So uh, I think I can set this to twenty four. Okay, yeah, you can see at twenty four, they are actually uh, functioning correctly. Okay, and this. okay. If I set it to eighteen, you can see that it's uh, working as well. Okay, what if I want to have uh, more interesting patterns instead of uh, them touching one another? Okay, you can actually do so by changing the, the the shift values. Okay, so let's say if you uh, do a smaller shift, you can see that yeah, we're creating uh, more interesting patterns over here. Okay, we're creating more interesting patterns. Okay? In fact, this is a very nice looking pattern that we have created. Okay, we have created. Okay, so yeah, we can see this is uh, quite quite interesting. Okay, let's say this is the pattern uh, that, that I want. Okay, and you can use the the output values the wires the cells to derive uh, other results okay okay one thing I, I want to like make the audience aware is that you notice that right now the wires are actually just merely uh, straight lines okay but what if you want the patterns to be actually uh, following the the curve profile how, how can we go about doing that okay basically you can do that by going to the panel utilities and select the appropriate uh, edge treatment okay so in this case uh, I want to use the pool edge okay pool edge basically uh, pull the wire curve onto the edge but onto the surface sorry using the shortest distance okay it's like uh this one the pool pool curve is similar to the pool curve on the rhino itself okay so yeah so let's uh, input the necessary uh values are uh, inputs okay so the wire right goes to the line okay wire goes to the line okay when the b rep is uh being asked right we have to go back to the original surface that you have uh, created plug this to the b rep okay plug this to b rep okay so now uh, let's just hide 
this okay we don't uh to hide the preview okay now if you zoom close you can see that um the the wires are actually put onto the surface okay you see let's uh turn on the preview you can see this is the original one it's a straight line okay the ones that we have created using the pool edge is actually following uh, the surface okay following the surface okay so with this right we can do a lot of other stuff like maybe uh, cut them into smaller pieces or do offsets uh, okay but I'm not going to dwell into that because uh, they were like uh, bore the audience and take a long long time okay so uh, basically yeah with this as I mentioned we can do a lot of other stuff okay uh, with that I think I will stop my demo here okay and hope that uh, this uh, short demo has uh, provided some kind of a useful uh, information for you okay maybe I just make this a bit bigger for you to see okay that's all for my video demo see you around bye